Ooh, Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. Sounds like fun. Oh, hi, Nook. Oh, no, no, those are the twins. Timmy and Tommy, right? Good morning. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the checking counter for your deserted island getaway package. There is so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Incorporated. And I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get st settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul. So let's get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Uh, sure. So my name is Zebra. Nice to meet you too. There's Z. Oh, it makes a little noises with each letter. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're playing the new Animal Crossing game. Hello, everybody who's watching. Hello, Zebra Herd, by the way. It just sort of threw me right into it. But yeah, we're playing the new Animal Crossing. I can't believe it. We've been waiting years for this, and it's, it's awesome. Animal Crossing is finally on the uh, Nintendo Switch. Uh, the world of Animal Crossing is welcoming to all, so don't include personal info or offensive words. I would never. Uh, so our birthday. My birthday is April 17th. It's coming up too, very exciting. All right, then you cannot change your birthday later. Well, this is correct, so I don't have to worry about it. April 17th. Zebra, zebra, let's see. Oh, yes, here you are. Our next stop will be to take a picture of you, zebra. Oh, don't worry, take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. All right, well, thank you so much. So you can choose your style. You can change this later. That's good to know. So uh, I'll be choosing the shorter hair for right now. And we have plenty of options. Obviously, I can't make the character look like a zebra, so can't really do anything on that department. But we could probably choose some pretty cool options. Uh, we'll look at the different hairstyles and stuff. Actually, there's a little bit less than I thought. But I mean, maybe it depends on the, the style we chose at first. Hmm. Is this all of the hair options? I guess so. We'll have to look through, you know, all the options later on as well. But, hmm. Trying to decide out of this group. Probably this one. And we have all sorts of different colors for the hair as well. Uh, I think I'll go with the lighter brown like this. And we have eyes. Ooh, you can get very expressive with these. Oh, there's lots of options. Wow, tons of different eyes. Or are these looping? They're not. Wow, why is there so many eye cho choices, but not as many hair choices? Now I gotta choose like an eye that's me, you know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the square ones are a little silly, I like those. Um, oh, I like these. Uh, oh, but those are really cute too. There's so many wonderful options. Uh, I think I'm going with these though, and then green. There we go, that looks good. Uh, what's next? We have the mouth and the nose. So we have either like a triangle, circle, or a square. Actually, can we zoom out at all? Because I know that we're not gonna be this close to our character normally, you know? Uh, hmm. I like the little circle nose, but I don't know how I'm going to like it zoomed out. I mean, we can change this later. If we don't like it, it's fine. No, no need to worry about it. This is not the kind of series I wanna worry about. I just wanna relax and have fun. I like this one. That one's cute. Yeah, we're going with the little, the curved mouth. And I don't think I need any of the uh, the cheek blush. All right, well, it's a pretty simple design. Uh, does everything look okay? You can change your look later. I think we'll go with that for right now. Great, you're all set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want to, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current one, or current home. So what that means, if you don't know, um, you know, the world is different, and because of that, the seasons change on the hemisphere. So an example, I live in the Northeast of the US, it's hot in the summer months, and it's cold in the winter months, which is usually, you know, June, July for summer, December, January for winter. But that is flipped for a country like Australia, where it's actually very hot during the December, January months, and it's very cold during what we think is the summer months. So it's just sort of like a flipped schedule. Um, it's very interesting, at least parts of Australia. I'm not sure if all Australia is like that, but that's just one example. So tell me, Zebra, where do you live now? Uh, North America. Ah, oh, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. 
there are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? Uh, yeah, sure, I'm fine with that. Very good, we have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the northern hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I'll show you some maps now and you can choose the best one for your new home. Hmm. So as you can see, I don't know what the little leaf means. That might be like an unmovable building. Oh, they're so awesome though. I like all of them. I am sort of leaning towards this one though. I don't know though. Hmm, I do like the nice spread of this. I, I wonder what the, I'm trying to pay attention to sort of like the topography on the map. You can see there's like lighter green. I'm pretty sure that means it's like a mountain of some sort. Huh. I think I'm going to like this one the most. I mean, obviously I only know so much. I've only played a bit of Animal Crossing in the past. I mean, I've played them a good chunk, but it's been like a, 10 years since I've last played one, really. Wonderful choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, uh, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could only bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? A sleeping bag, a lamp, some food, something to kill time. Well, I'd probably need to eat, so some food seems like the most practical answer. Hmm. I guess if it's a deserted island, I wanna survive. <laughs> How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, that was just a hypothetical question. <laughs> oh boy, well I hope we do get some food. Nook Inc. will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. All right. Your attention, please. This is a service announcement. An announcement. <laughs> the chartered flights, flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all go board the plane together. All right, so we're going to our wonderful holiday getaway. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. Ooh. Let's take a look at this. Very relaxing. We'll be living it up, taking a tan. Oh yeah, we'll have, there's a lot to do in this game. If you don't know what Animal Crossing is like, it's a very relaxing game where you get to explore this town and you have all these cool animal villagers. There's plenty to do with like fishing and bug catching. It's a very go with the flow style game. I love it very much. I'm really glad that Animal Crossing is finally on the Switch and we'll be playing a ton of it. There's always like new daily stuff to do. So we'll be checking a lot of it out. So stay tuned for sure. And yay! <laughs> Everybody gets to have fun. I just, I love it very much. And we'll be able to upgrade our house. I think we'll be able to improve the town a little bit. I've played in the past, personally, I've really only played the Nintendo DS one extensively, which was Wild World, and then a little bit of the Wii game City Folk. But I sort of missed out on New Leaf on the 3DS, so this is my first time enjoying Animal Crossing in a long time. So yeah, let's enjoy our little Nook Inc. production. <laughs> Oh man, this is so cool. I love the little loading screen, just a little plane floating by. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Wow. So right now things are looking a little bit tattered. There's like some weeds around and stuff. We'll have to clean all that up, eventually, I'm sure. Oh, here we go! Dodo Airlines. We're here! Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Of course. Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now, so if you'd like to move with the left stick to follow us. Uh, all right. Oh, hello, who are you guys? Pashmina. We can chat later, I wanna see where this is going. Hello. Biff, we gotta get a move on, come on! All right, already got some new friends. Oh, we can run so we can sprint. Out of my way, beep beep. Oh, there he is, the man himself, it's Tom Nook. Hey! All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Pashmina here? Yep, 
And how about Biff? <laughs> and there's Zebra, of course. Hi. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. So are we the only three here? Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first, yes, yes? I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate, and, uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy and Tom, or Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. Ooh. So, I'll go to you, because you have the cute little flag. This is Tommy. Here you go, Zebra. Your very own tent. Ooh. A nice little pack. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory, then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose you should probably set, set you up with a map too. That'd be great. Once you put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. All right, cool. So, we'll take a look around. How do I, what was it? What button's the map? Oh, well, it sort of just pops up on its own if you stay still for long enough. Interesting. So yeah, we'll just take a run around and get a good idea of the layout of our map. As you can see, there is um, a nice little beach. Ah, oh, this game is so cute. This, it's really pretty too. It's very polished. Oh, can we get stuff now? Oh yeah, we can already get like apples and stuff. Are these, no, these look like oranges actually. Okay, no more tree shaking. Oh, I, I don't think I can pick it up yet. Oh, all right. So don't worry about that. Oh, did you find a spot, Pashmina? You're, wait, I got it, don't tell me. You're Zebra, right, yep. See, I told you I had it. I'm Pashmina, I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing, kidders. Looks like we're both having trouble deciding where to set up our tents. I mean, it's a pretty big decision. Of course, no matter where we settle down on this little island, at least we'll be neighbors. I agree, I like her already. See, I'm just taking a look around. I wanna be definitely sure where I set everything up. I don't want it to uh, be something I regret, because I don't know if it's something we can move later. So this is where we started before. Honestly, I don't mind maybe somewhere more open like this, but here's uh, Biff. Yo, I'm Biff. You're Zebra, right? Nice to meet you, Squirt. So, find a good place for a tent? I'm looking to pitch up mine somewhere close to nature so I can train my body and my soul, Squirt. Yeah, everybody has like a little saying that they say at the end of each sentence, or like every couple of phrases. It's, it's, it's wonderful, I love it. Do we have the ability to cross the river? I haven't seen a bridge yet. I hope so. If not, that might limit our choices for where we can put our house. I would like to do somewhere close to the water, but also not you know, too far out of the way. Yeah, I don't see any way to get across for right now. That's weird. So I guess we're sort of stuck on the side. That's fine. Like I said, there's still plenty of options here. I think we'll do something here or something like that. You know, yeah, I think that's fine. So there's our tent, build here. Uh, should I put my tent here? Uh, let me imagine it. Ooh, what is this about? Ah, look at this. Oh, very fancy. It'll get rid of a tree, but that's okay. Is this a good spot? I think so. Okay. Yeah! I set up my tent! That's a big first step! So, uh, let's, can we take a look at, we had a little mailbox there. Nothing new. I probably maybe should move this tree at some point. Can I go inside? Tom Nook still needs to tell me a few things, so I'll check this out later. Aw. All right, well, we'll go to Tom Nook now. Hey, buddy. Ah, Zebra, you must have found a suitable spot for your tent, hmm? You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for just the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes. Okay. So I can assist them somehow. Well, we know, uh, Pashmina's here. You already found a good spot, huh? 
I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed the stick and threw it. And here's where it landed. So now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. Uh, I'll find you a spot maybe reconsider. Looks good to me. For real, kidders? Well, if you're sure, actually, let's think about this a little. If I put my tent here, ooh, let's imagine it. Oh, that's super cute. I love your tent. It's, it's rounded at the top. Looks nice, don't it? Looks great. Awesome. From now on, this won't just be anywhere on the island. It's gonna be my home sweet home. I can't believe I got such an awesome spot. You rock, kidders. I wonder how that Biff guy is doing. He might be having as much trouble as I was. Maybe you should go and see if he needs help too. I will. So where is he at? He was over here, right? Yep, here he is. Hey, Biff. You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gotta have lots of fresh air. Think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Zebra? Looks good to me. What is his, his shirt says gold. I like it. Okay then, how about we do a little visualization exercise together? If I put my tent here. Pretty cool, right? Looks great. All right, looks like we have a winner. I'm gonna put this down, put, put down stakes right here and never look back, Squirt. I like that color of orange. That was a tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. <laughs> Don't tell me you already helped Pashmina out too. You're like, like, a true champion. I just got here and I, so I don't have anything ready, but I'm gonna reward you for this once I'm settled in. Well, looks like it's time to sprint back to the plaza squirt. <laughs> All right, I like them. Both Pashmina and Vip are super nice, so that's good. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Pashmina, Tommy, and Biff can can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Zebra and I will work together on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. All right, everyone, let's get to it. Zebra, would you like to come with? Come see me for a moment? Uh oh, I hope we're not in trouble. <laughs> I don't know why. He always seems like a very like stern person to me. I don't know how to explain it. Ah, Zebra, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one lying around on the ground, press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, investigate the orange-like uh, items growing in the trees. I expect they're real oranges. I sure hope so. I would rather them not be fake oranges. All right, so we can start picking up these ones that were on the floor, I think. Maybe I, I could have done this before, but I was just pressing the wrong button. <laughs> Orange? I hope so. I really do. Were we picking up the weeds off the floor? Oh, we were. We're cleaning this neighborhood up already. Look at that. Okay, cool. Let's also focus a bit on the tree branches. And more oranges over this way. So one of the cool things about this game that they added is that there's a whole crafting system that I'm sure we'll run into at some point. This one's not like a survival game by any means, but it just, it has more like building to it. And that's really cool. I can't wait to see the level of interaction we'll be able to have in the game. So there's a good couple of oranges. I don't know how many six he wanted us to get. We'll run run around and get a couple more at the least. Uh, whoop. One over this way. You know, he said we'd do this together. I'm doing this all by myself. He's still back there. And one last stick over this way. So let's take a look. I have six sticks. Will that be enough? We'll grab a couple along the way because why not? And got it. Hello. We're going to need 10 of the fallen tree branches. I don't know if you already said that. Speaking of which, have you tried speak shaking any trees yet? You might get branches and other things that way. Just approach any tree without fruit and press A to give it a few good shakes. Easy does it. You're bound to shake something loose eventually. So we can give it shakes even if it doesn't have fruit? Or did I misread that? Ah! Okay. So there's a tree branch and here's a tree branch. That has us at 11, so we're we're doing good. 
Oh, good, good, Zebra. It looks like you've managed to collect up the, th th the tree branches, hmm? You found even more than I asked. I only need 10, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. I'll take what you I, what we need off your hands now. There you go. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Oh. And speaking of surviving on a d desolate island, our next task is to, to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like oranges, they smell like oranges, and they even taste like oranges. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine oranges. So will you collect six, six of them for me? Oh, uh, what's this? You've already collected enough oranges for everyone, haven't you? Well, well, I know you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands and get started with the preparations. Well, there we go. We're quite the collector. So what's going on now? Guess we're going to continue with our little party. Oh, it's gotten to nighttime now. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. I like his little tail. All right, there goes the bonfire. Hooray. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to, to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly trust, test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? Oh, oh, oh. Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that, with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm. But what should we call it? Oh, do we get to name the island? I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Suggest a name for the island. You can't change this. This can be seen by others during local slash online play. So pick an appropriate name. Well, they think I might totally fool myself if I call it like Zebra Herd Island. Well, I might still do it anyways. <laughs> I feel like that's a, a little weird, but I, I don't know too much. I mean, we could name it something else, because I'm sure there's other things that we'll be able to, like maybe there'll be some kind of group we can make or something. Um, hmm. I like the idea of like saying like Stripe Island, because of course, zebras have stripes. No, not A, I need S. There we go, Stripe Island. It, it's simple, but it's also you know very referential. There we go. All right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready, go. Awesome beach, I Isla del Biceps. I like that one. What splendid variety, yes, yes. Each one a potential gem. Now for the voting. I'll say, I'll say each name in order and you can clap for the one you think is best. Zebra seems to have an enthusiasm in the name uh, and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So Zebra suggested, Stripe. <laughs> wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Stripe. <laughs> Absolutely, it rocks. Splendid, then from now on, this island will be known as Stripe. Well, Zebra, since you've proven yourself by naming Stripe, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Stripe. Well, thank you so much. Zebra, could you please say a word or two as the spokesperson for your neighbors? Howdy, a word or two, or you can count on me. You can count on me! Yay! Hmm, so, we've settled on a name for our island and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Oh, we have all, our, all, we all have orange juice. Everyone have a beverage in hand? It's fresh juice made from oranges, our new resident representative harvested on this very island. Then without a further ado, a toast to Stripe and the happiness, happiness of its residents. Cheers. Yeah, to Stripe Island. I probably should have called it Stripe Island and not just Stripe, but I thought that, 
I, I was worried it was going to, if I did that, it would have said Stripe Island Island or something, you know? I don't know how I was gonna do the naming convention. Anyways, look at them playing as Tamarine. Sitting around the campfire with cups of orange juice is like, it almost feels like we're family. You can call me bro. Sure, bro. Hello. A party around a campfire on a deserted island? Wow, now this rocks, skaters. Yeah, can I sit on the, the stool too? Yeah, he can! We're sitting with, uh, uh I'm gonna take, it's gonna take you a while to remember her name. Pashmina, Pashmina, okay. Wait, oh, what did she say? I thought she was gonna say the same thing again. Stripe, this is gonna be rad. Hello. Stripe, Stripe. What a great name, just rolls off the tongue. Thank you for offering such a wonderful idea to the group. Hello. You handled your tasks perfectly. We got a nice campfire going. Ah, zebra, having a good time, yes? I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Uh, I don't know if there's too much more to do, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a nap. Sounds good to me, but first, you'll probably want this. Oh, is it a bed? Probably. It's your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well, hmm? Just a few items that might be useful. To open packages and use the things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move L to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all for me for now. Sweet dream, Zebra. Sounds good. So yeah, let's head back. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much fun we're having already setting up our little islands. Let's head in and see what kind of cool stuff waiting for us in here. Apparently some basic supplies. Indeed. So what is this? Oh, is it a radio? Somebody's talking in it. The radio's on. Turn off or leave on. Can we change the station? Oh, there we go. Welcome Horizons is currently playing. Leave on. I like it. And what about this? Oh, it's a little lamp. Perfect. Wait, I didn't know. Hold on. That's not what I meant to do. So I can place the camping cot. Can I push it around? Oh, rest my head for a little while. Stay awake. I wanna see, is there a way to push it? Hmm, no, no, no. Weird, I gotta learn how to control the game. Sorry, uh, maybe if I press A? Aha, perfect. So I wanna just get this in the corner a little bit. And if we can, I would also like to place this somewhere. Uh, okay. Yeah, pull it over this way. I'm gonna put this in the corner as well, if I can. Can I not fit between that little space? Weird. Yeah, it's a, it's a very tiny tent so far. No, no, no. <laughs> Hold on. It is a little wonky to control at the moment, but we'll figure it out. See? There we go, perfect. So let's take a snooze. It's been a fun first day here in Stripe Island, but there's still so much more left to do, so we're going to get doing it in the next day. I'm getting sleepy. We'll sleep away. Whoa, are we dreaming? This is so much fun though. I'm really enjoying the game. There's a lot to do in it, so definitely these episodes are gonna be a lot of fun. Whoa, it's KK Slider! He's in our dreams. I mean, he is very dreamy. So, it looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way, right, daddy -o? You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road, but being by your lonesome can grind them on the soul. You've gotta make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man, friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends. If that's your scene. Well, I already am. I'm sharing it with the whole zebra herd. They're along the adventure with me. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life and I'll catch you later. So I think what that means now is we're in sync with real time. 
So starting from this day onward, like if I was playing in real life during the nighttime, it'll be nighttime in the game. Luckily it's not nighttime, it's 11 a.m. Zebra, are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. I know, I was dreaming about KK Slider. It was, it was, it was amazing. Uh, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. Well, the radio is playing all night long. <laughs> Hope it doesn't run out of batteries. So what does Nook have to say? Whoa, it's very windy. Ah, there you are. Hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. I slept that long? <laughs> yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip and a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to your life uh, to life in our, in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? It's your very own Nook phone. Ooh, I had this, these made especially for island residents. That's cool. Ah, I wanna make sure it's working right, so could you try turning it on for me, hmm? Okay. Runs like a charm. Welcome. Ooh, whole selection of apps and everything. Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. Say, Zebra, have you ever used a smartphone before? Sure have. Very good, and this should be a breeze for you. In fact, these Nook phones are rather easier to operate than ordinary phones. Oh yes, we simply removed most of the features. <laughs> I have one more thing for you. Oh no. These, this looks like legal paperwork. It's your itemized bill. So this includes everything, airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nook phone, hmm? Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells, what? What are bells? <laughs> Good one, Zebra. Wait, you're being serious? Yes, of course, I can't believe I didn't think of this. Well, bells are a currency that can be exchanged for goods and, or services here on Stripe. Ah, uh, but there's still the problem that you don't actually have any. Yes, of course. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. With the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. I call this extremely helpful service, the Nook Mileage Program. So we're, we're only one day into being on the island and we're now severely in debt. <laughs> mileage, Nook Mileage? What's that? Well, it's quite extraordinary, if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on Stripe. I dare say, the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your move-in fees, and much more. So the bottom line is, you need 49,800 bells to pay your move-in fees, but with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app, and you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Stripe and a client of Nook Incorporated. So it looks like we uh, we gotta work off our debt now. But that's fine, because we live on an island in a, in a tent. My new life is underway, and I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! All right, so that's very cool. From now on, island time will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator in the top right of the screen corner. You can also save and quit your game after pressing minus. Cool. Oh, oh, it looks like we're already getting a call or something. See, so yeah, let's take a look at our Nook phone. Uh, we have a camera here. Camera, take pictures using various filters and effects so we can zoom in on ourselves. Uh, the picture will be saved to the album. Sounds cool. And, whoa. That's pretty cool, so we'll definitely be able to take lots of pictures of people. On top of that, we have, um, what else? Nook Miles. Nook Miles, you're enrolled in the Nook Mileage Program. Earn Nook Miles for completing island activities. Then trade those miles for various perks and goods at the Nook Shop and the Resident Services Center. Make the most out of island life. Earn Nook Miles. So, okay, so we can claim some stuff here. Stripe Miles, Get Miles. 
You traveled a long way just to move to our little island and you enrolled in the Nook Mileage Program, so you earned your first miles. There are lots of ways to earn miles, but by just enjoying island life. Very cool. You got title keywords. Nook Inc's Patron. Also got 500, oh wow. Alrighty, that's one tenth of what we owe. That's actually not so bad. Um, angling for perfection. Learning how to fish is an essential skill for living on a remote island, hmm? Nook Inc encourages all island residents who are aiming to become fishing masters. Uh, we also have island togetherness. One of the goals of Nook Incorporated is resident togetherness. Our gregarious greetings initiative aims to reward you with Nook Miles just for chatting with residents. Try to talk to all of your neighbors every day. Well, we only have two neighbors right now, unless it includes Tom, Timmy, I mean Tom, Nook, Timmy, and Tommy, right? Maybe. Uh, you've got the bug. Earn miles just for catching creepy crawlies. Every bug you catch is one that won't be surprising someone in their sock drawer. That's good. Flower power. Planting flowers makes our island more beautiful and can earn you miles. So grow wild. Yes, yes. Pick the bunch. You'll get nook miles on the based on the amount of fruit you've sold. Remember, if you sell our island specialty fruits on other islands, you might be able to get a better price. There are still plenty more to do. Wow, okay, so yeah, you can see we're sort of scrolling through all these. There is lots to do, so let's just make sure we're, we're clear with everything. We can go ahead, be shellfish. You can earn Nook Miles based on the number of seashells you sell. That's not easy to say. And remember, you'll get different amounts of bells for different types of shells, so pay attention. Hoard reward. Put more furniture in your house. Nook Inc. will give you Nook Miles based on the number of indoor furniture items you have, so you're earning rewards by making um, your home. Okay, so there's a lot of them. A lot of stuff going on. I don't wanna read through all of them right now. Let's check out some other stuff. We got custom designs. Uh, with this app, you can create custom designs to wear to on clothing and display on the island. When you save custom designs to your app, you can share them with the other island residents. There's a chance that your custom designs will be seen by other players during network se play sessions when you visit another island, for example. Please don't create anything that infringes on others' rights. Don't use private information or offensive words or images. I would never. Um, so, can I actually like equip this right now? Where? Here we go. Yeah, I'm not super big into the uh, the polo shirt, so I'm glad that we changed that, or the whatever it's called, the collared shirt. Uh, there's airplane. Um, oh, I like this one, the vine pattern. Tops. I like it. Uh, I wish we could change the type of clothes, because I would like something with sleeves. I just personally prefer that. Um, but I'm sure that's something we can change in the future. Uh, I wonder if we can change our shoes. We'll find out eventually, for right now. Uh, check the map for your current location. You can also press X to change the settings and choose whether to display the mini map during your day-to-day -day activities. So as you can see, we can um, see where we are, we can see where other people at least live. I don't know if, if they're actually there at the moment. Uh, very cool. The passport. Ooh, your passport information is shown here. This information may be seen by other players. Uh, you can change your photo, title, or comment at any time. Customize them to show off your style. All right, well, we'll definitely change some of this stuff soon. I don't want to bother with it too much if we can just keep moving on with the game. And rescue service. Use this service for an emergency situation on the island when your path is blocked in when when you're stuck. You'll be sent to a place such as your home or resident services. Nook miles are generally required to use this service. Gotcha. Well, we're not stuck at the moment. No, <laughs> I'm all right, don't worry. Well, that's very cool. Uh, what else? Oh, you know what? The mailbox. I think there was some mail in the mailbox. Oh, two letters from Nintendo. Wow. Dear Zebra, thank you for downloading the update. There was an update? All right. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please keep an eye out for future updates as well. Place in pocket. I don't know what we got, but we'll find out in a moment. We also have this. Dear Zebra, congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy your new island life. To celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy from Nintendo. Awesome. Anything else? Nope. All right. See, so yeah, let's see what our new gifts are. Open. Ooh, Nintendo Switch. Awesome. And simple DIY workbench. Learn. Is this a DIY recipe? I wonder how I can memorize it. Interesting. And then the switch will go ahead and put in our tent right now. That's so cool. So yeah, I guess we get a little switch. I don't know if we can actually play it in the game. That'd be a little weird, playing the switch on Animal Crossing, which I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch. 
Oh wow, yeah, here it is. Those are not the Joy-Cons I'm using, but. Oh, it makes a little switch noise when you touch it. I love that. I wanna see the screen. Ah, <laughs> that's so cool. All right, well, I think I wanna still do a little bit more for today's episode. I don't wanna end it off just, yeah, I wanna explore the, the, the town, the uh, island a little bit more. Maybe we can run into Tom Nook and talk to him. Probably also, uh, you know, do a little bit of that. One of the oranges disappeared though. Is this a flower or is that just weeds? Um, clump of weeds, yeah, so they're not flowers. That's fine. Oh, hey! Yo, I'm pumped about the spot you helped me pick out from my tent. Thanks for the push. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies, Squirt. All right, I've got something here for you, Squirt. Thanks again for finding a place for my place. Oh, wow, a hat! That tulip hat is perfect for Stripe. You can try it on by pressing X to open up your pockets, then press A to select the item you want. Choose where if you want to put it on. You can always change later if you need to work uh, to work out, Squirt. All right, sounds good. So let's take a look. We have the, the plaid shirt, and we also have a tulip hat. Uh, all right. I don't know if it's exactly my style, but we'll keep it on for right now. I'm sure we'll be able to sort of etch that out a little bit more as we keep playing. Oh, Zebra, it's great to see you. That campfire was a lot of fun. We're keeping resident services open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk to, uh, talk about anything. For the time being, I'll be out and about checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. Well, thank you. I don't see anybody else around here, but I'm sure we'll run into more soon. Maybe I should pick up more sticks in the meantime. Yeah, very, very nice of Biff to give us this fancy little hat. Oh, we've never actually gone in this tent before, have we? Well, let's see what's going on in here then. I'm very curious. Oh, hey, here's uh, Timmy and, and Mr. Nook himself. Ah, oh, Zebra, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it is quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. Hmm. Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you produce some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. And if you want to earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous, yes, yes. Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that you can help, that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it, hmm? Maybe that's something we'll do next episode, I don't know how long that'll take. Ah, welcome, welcome. You don't waste any time, do you? Oh, we're still setting up, but for starters, we intend to offer a small election of goods for our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to take a look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. I'll take a look. Great. So, wow, lawn chair and an outdoor generator. Obviously, I'm a long ways off from affording any of those, but this is where it gets exciting. The Mescalaneous has some very useful things like a flimsy fishing rod, net, watering can, slingshot. These will all be very useful for getting things done, as well as like seed package for planting things, saplings, um, DIY for beginners, slingshot recipe. So we can use those to maybe make our own. We can also buy an orange. I, I hope at some point we can sell our own. Anything catch your eye? We're not just sellers, we're also, we also buy things from you, including stuff gathered on this island. And because we wanna support efforts to beautify the islands, we'll even pay you a little bit in return for any weeds or trash you bring in. If you want to know whether we'll buy something, just ask. All right, then will you buy my weeds then? Um, I want to sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? Right now, I'll just sell the weeds. I don't wanna sell anything else. Um, confirm. Here you go. Some clumps of weeds, sure. How about I offer you 110 bells? Wow, sold, nice price. So 10 bells per weed, I think. Thank you, please come again. I definitely will. Um. Oh, oh, what did we get here? Looks like another Nook Smiles. Where could it be? Here it is, seller of unwanted stuff. Selling things you don't want, don't need is a great way to keep down the clutter and earn a few extra bells. And in this case, a few extra miles. Hooray for your first sale. So that gave us uh, 300 more Nook Miles. We also got two title keywords. I don't know what the keywords are for. We'll find out eventually, I'm sure. Anyways, 
What else do we have going on? I want to at least talk to uh, Pashmina one more time before I'll finish up for today's episode. But I've been having so much fun already and we're just getting started with our little island adventure. So be sure to let me know if you plan on getting the game, how much fun you're having, all that kind of cool stuff is, oh wait, wait, I was gonna go into her thing, but she's right here. Zebra, thanks a ton for earlier. I got my tent all set up and running thanks to that pep talk. The brochure said we'd be living on an uninhabited island, so I was ready to go solo, kidders. I could totally go for having rock stars like you around, though. Let me know if you need anything. Oh yeah, I was thinking about how to thank you and I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Oh really? That sounds fancy. All right, so, there, so the first thing I thought of when I got here was, now that's a lot of weeds. That's kind of where I got the idea. It's a DIY project that uses weeds. If, you ever, if you've never done a DIY project before, you should talk to Tom Nook to help you out. He's doing free DIY demos over at the Resident Services. So that is definitely something we will try out in the next episode, but for right now, I have had so much fun with this game already, and like I said, we're just getting started. There's still so much more to do, so stay tuned for plenty more episodes as we explore our island, we grow it, we maintain it, we get a nice village worth of wonderful little animal friends. It'll be a lot of fun. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.